And now to the war in the Middle East. The death toll is rapidly climbing as Israel steps up aerial assaults against Hamas. The humanitarian crisis in Gaza is said to be deteriorating quickly with relief supplies not arriving quickly enough. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang live in the News Center with the latest developments. Kimberly? Hi, two Israeli hostages have been released by Hamas. 79-year-old Nuri Cooper and 85-year-old Yocheved Lifshitz, who spoke to reporters in Tel Aviv Tuesday. A hostage released by Hamas called her experience a hell she never knew before. She says Hamas militants attacked her community. She was taken captive into the Gaza Strip. She was held for more than two weeks and was beaten with sticks. Once in Gaza, she walked through a network of tunnels and into a room with other hostages, where guards looked after them. They told us that they believe in the Quran and they will do us no harm. Some 200 Israelis and foreigners have been taken hostage. Ten Americans are still missing. Or some could be um, hostages. Some could unfortunately be, be dead. We just, we don't know. White House officials said Tuesday there are hundreds of Americans in Gaza and getting them out is a prime focus. We are actively trying to get Americans out of Gaza. Since Israel sealed off the territory following Hamas attacks, people in Gaza have been running out of food, water, medicine, and fuel. All hospitals in Gaza now rely on backup generators to have electricity. They need fuel to operate those generators. Israel has allowed some trucks filled with aid to enter, but deliveries of fuel are still barred. We certainly understand Israeli concerns about the possibility for Hamas to abscond with fuel and use it for their own purposes. Israel said it launched 400 airstrikes over the past day, killing Hamas commanders, hitting militants as they prepared to launch rockets into Israel, and striking command centers and a tunnel shaft. Witnesses say airstrikes across the Gaza Strip also hit residential buildings. Israel says it does not target civilians, and Hamas militants are using them as cover for their attacks. The UN Health Agency called for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza to be able to distribute aid. Pauses in an operation is, is a tool and a tactic that can do that for temporary pe pe periods of time. So that is not the same as saying a ceasefire. Again, right now, we believe a ceasefire benefits Hamas. The United Nations chief warned that the situation in the Middle East is growing more dire with the risk of the Gaza war spreading through the region. The U.S. has told Iranian-backed Hezbollah and other groups not to join the fight. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire almost daily at the Israel-Lebanon border. Reporting in News Center, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.